What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In the last video, I said that I will be throwing a birthday meet this upcoming Saturday. So today is Friday and I gotta get this car 100% ready. And that means that I have one thing left to do since I already built the side skirts. So these are my rear wheels. They are 285.35s on a 12 and a half. And on this car, it's a bit too meaty once I put on the spacers and the tires don't necessarily tuck under that right there. So I'm going to be swapping out the tires with 275.35. So hopefully going down one tire size will be just enough for me to tuck it and sit lip to fender. So without further ado, let's go ahead and load up my back wheels and the new tires. and tires are all loaded up let's head over to the tire shop all right guys we are here at wheels and tire pros in Kent right this is Kent and there's David right here that will be mounting these tires again and the homie Uriel and two cheetahs oh shit did it work no fuck well boy they used two cheetahs and it still didn't work this is gonna be some gnarly ass stretch. So I don't know what they're gonna do now. Um, David went in the back. Maybe he's he's, cooked, he's cooking something up for us. But once it stretches, it's gonna be real nice. And this is only one tire size down too. My homies were telling me to get 265s. I thought they were crazy. So what are you about to do? Flame stretch. God, they're about to light these bitches on fire. Yeah, I'm gonna stand real far back, bro. Still nothing. Still nothing? <laughs> this is going to be a crazy stretch. Round two. Strike two. <laughs> yeah, so if, you, if you're thinking about going stance, don't do it unless you want headaches and a shit ton of trouble, bro. Look at that. That's some gnarly ass stretch right there. We tried two cheetahs. We tried flame twice and still nothing. So David's got to gotta come up with something genius right here in order to stretch these. So crossing my fingers, he could he could cook something up for us. Sadly, guys, these this stretch is just too crazy. So the old tires are gonna have to go back on. Uh, maybe I'll figure something out to stretch the new 275s in order to run it to the meet tomorrow. Who knows? Crossing my fingers right now, something will will work out. But huge shout out for David and Uriel for actually yeah. trying and trying their best on this. Just couldn't couldn't work out. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I still have an alignment to go to today at three o'clock. So I don't know how this is gonna work because I was planning on getting smaller tires so I could down the pivot before the alignment. But who knows? Let's just hope that everything works out. Okay, guys, I'm back at home. I got the wheels put on, even though they're way too meaty. I can't exactly air out. Unfortunately, I cannot find a shop that will mount the tires. But the place I'm going to get an alignment said that they could stretch it, so cross my fingers that they can actually do it. But as for right now, I will be driving this thing to get an alignment. Shout out to my homie, Jared, right here. He also drives this FRS Tiffany Blue rally backer, too. He'll be escorting me there just to make sure I don't crash or shit because this thing drives like shit right now. That's why I'm getting an alignment. And shout out to Max for coming with us 
and driving the tires. So without further ado, let's go ahead and drive over to Meisterworks to get an alignment. The FRS safely made it to Meisterworks right here. Uh, I'm currently going in. I'm going to check in the car. Max is grabbing the tires and stuff so they can mount because he has to dip. I'm crossing my fingers. They can stretch this. And I'm hoping that the alignment will be A1 steak sauce. So let's see what they got to do. And let's see if I can even film because some shops don't allow their customers to sit in um, the back where they work. But let's see if they're chill about it. If not, it's fine. Completely understand. Today is just full of bad news. My source, um, it's too much of a stress. So this means that I have to, I have one other person to take these two. Hopefully he can get them done, but I'm just tired of running in circles and circles. So hopefully they get done today. And so I can get an alignment tomorrow to be at my meet. I'll put the camera down. I'll update you guys if I can actually get these mounted. Quick update, I'm gonna just say fuck it, forget the new tires. I'm just gonna add more camber in the rear so that way it tucks in and hopefully it should fit. I think it'll fit because the left side fit, that means the right side has to, maybe it has less camber, who knows, we'll see. But we're gonna full set on this. I want this thing done for I meet tomorrow, so we're just gonna throw this on the alignment rack and hopefully it works. So sit back, relax, and enjoy these cinematics of me getting an alignment. Yo, check this out. This is insane. We got fender to lift right here. And fender to lift up here. The fronts are negative nine. Uh, we are checking what the rears are right now just because I'm curious to see. But I'm gonna guess it's like negative 10. What's your guess? Negative 11. 11? 10. I'm at 10? 10. 10.2. Yes, sir. Okay, so fronts are negative nine. Rears are negative 10. This is perfect for me. Fender to lift both sides. Luckily this worked out because I, I was kind of bummed that we couldn't stretch my tires. But turns out we don't need that, we just needed a bit more camber. Yo, check out when I first came in here. Toe was so bad. And now, we're all good. So if you guys have been riding around with no alignment, please get yourself an alignment, save your tires, and your car will drive a lot, much, uh, a lot better. Cause look at that, my toe was way off. And toe is what kills tires. I don't care what anybody says, it's not camber. Camber is just a small factor. So huge shout out to Meisterworks for working on this car today. Thank you for watching today's video. I'm gonna shoot some cinematics of the car as it sits. Enjoy.